What is going on fellow outlaws outlaw Gary here and in today's video We're going back to one of your favorite locations in Red Dead Redemption 2 Of course if you are new around here and you enjoy this video Be sure to drop a like because we're uncovering a secret now lately Many of you guys have been emailing me tweeting at me DMing me all on discord and on Twitter and on Instagram and even on my YouTube stories that I have to go back to the brother and sister's house to go check out the secrets upstairs now when i first heard about this i was like there's no secrets i don't know about and then and then i found out there's secrets that i don't know about because you guys spam me about them now one thing i love about the red dead redemption 2 community is that you guys are some of the best viewers i could ever ask for you guys watch everything you guys comment and really keep it real with me and i appreciate that uh, as you guys know red dead online received an update the other day and um well Let's not talk about it. All right, let's just not talk about it. This is Red Dead Redemption 2 we're playing now. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to explore their house. Now, if you have not seen these people in Red Dead Redemption 2, I highly recommend you go watch the other video where I showcase this house as dudes. <sighs> it's a doozy. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to roll in there. I'm going to run upstairs. I'm going to shoot the, the main dude. Huh? Wait. I'm gonna lasso her. Sorry, I'm gonna lasso the wife and I'm gonna kill the big dude. He's coming down the stairs. Let me tell you, he is a big mother trucker. This dude is like... Look, look. Look how many shots this dude takes. Look at that. Look at that. He's a freaking tank, dudes. What is all this stuff floating? All right, let me... Bro, like how... How do you live that many bullets? Like, do you have a knife? Wait, what? How's he still have his... Ah. Now he doesn't have a... Ah! Hey! Oh, my God! He hit so... Oh! Oh, my God. This dude's a freaking... Oh, my God. That was beautiful. Now, one thing I've always wondered is what is in these, these glasses that we drink, that, that alcohol. But you really never get to find out. So, if you ever get robbed by this couple, of course, you want to wake up and come back to the house and get your money back but we're not here to discover that we know that behind the picture is the the money that belongs to us so we're going to inspect the picture and we're going to get our money back but not only are we going to do that but we're going to listen to what the girl has to say because she provides some very interesting dialogue for us so we're going to take our money back and not only that but we're going to take her upstairs and we're not taking her to the bedroom so all you weirdos don't get any thoughts because let me tell you this thought has been all up inside sleeping with her brother. I killed him. I killed him. I was that's it. He's dead. Let me, let me put it right next to him. Oh, that's so mean. Oh, oh, that's so mean. I did I did that. I did that. I swear, man. She just talks so much. No! No more talking! Oh, actually, talk a little bit more because we're gonna go upstairs while I eat this chocolate bar I just stole off your husband. AKA your brother, you sicko. She just said that I loved you like a husband. Lady, that was your husband. Don't get it twisted. You were sleeping with him. I'm gonna bleed you dry. And you're not gonna do anything to me dry, lady. Not suck, bleed, cut, nothing. None of the above. Now, this is their bedroom where they did the nasty nasty. I'm gonna drop her off real quick. I don't even know, can you even drop her in the bed? I said I wasn't gonna do this, but for, for testing purposes. Hey, you can. Now. Shut up, lady! My neighbors are gonna think I'm a freaking weirdo. Listen, so if you guys did not see the last video, we showcased the family photo. In the family photo, we have... Excuse me, I'm speaking, lady. We have the mother-father, of course, that the, that the son and daughter killed. And eventually, the son and daughter started dating. Last episode, we took this lady to the grave of her mother and father. But this time, we're gonna take her to the upstairs of her own house. Now, the reason why we're taking her up here is because... There's a little something something up here that uh, I didn't know about until today. I'm gonna drop it right here. <laughs> now, inside of this armoire, you'll see it on the floor, right? There's like a lot of blood. And I, and I saw this and I was like, why is there blood on the floor? And then I realized, wait a second. Uh, yep. Six sons of bitches. Yep, you wanna see it again real quick. Check it out. Yep. That's somebody's body. Someone's bones. Now, for whatever reason, you are unable to leave it open. You just can't. 
it's, it's not a thing. You open it and you're forced to close it. But one thing you can do with this lady is you can pick her up. And I want to show you guys something that you have been spamming me to check out. Something many of you guys may not even know about. I'll drop right over here so she can get a good angle. And it's these floorboards. As you guys can see, there's various floorboards here that are a little more broken than others. And then there's this one. Now, when I walked over here, I walked right over it. You guys saw I stepped on it. But normally, you'd want to shoot this floorboard. <clears throat> I missed. Shoot. <clears throat> now, for some reason, I walked over it and it got stuck. So, this is what we're going to do. We're going to put this lady in the safety and we're going to run. Ah, run! Why are you walking? Run, run, run! Holy Jesus Christ. Christ. We're gonna have to reload our game. So we're gonna ride back into the house. We're gonna re-lasso the lady. Hello, I'm home. Oh, shoot. What the? Wait, why do I keep choking her out? Oh, God. Oh, what the? Ah! Ah! Wait, she doesn't have a knife? Oh, she does. Oh, she doesn't have a knife now, though. I think she just dropped the knife. That's actually really exciting. Wow! All right, we'll leave her out here with her, uh, with her beloved husband. This floorboard is supposed to have some secret loot underneath it. Why? That's so weird that that's broken like that. Ah, there you go. See? Now it's... What? That's so weird. Now I can shoot the floorboard. Bow, mother truckers. See, before the floorboard got freaking stuck. And this wasn't here, but now it's here. Look at this. When I first ran through this, there was jewelry here for me to pick up. And I'm not sure if like, if you shoot this in a, a certain direction or if you shoot it a certain way, like you'll be able to get the jewelry or not. But when I was here earlier, there was jewelry I could loot. And now there's no jewelry. I'm a little confused on why that is. As you guys can tell, there are some little blocks here that say SL on it. Now, I don't know what this SL means, but if I had to guess, it means secret lover. Go, 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 get in the door. Now, of course, the reason what for this explosion was to check this out. Now, for whatever reason, when you get into Eagle Eye, it gives you like these little, it like blinks. And I don't know why it does this, but it's some kind of pattern that like goes in some kind of rotation that I have no freaking clue what it means. But there's something here, brothers. There's something here. I think maybe there is something weird about this because when i was first here i had seen jewelry box you could loot but now while i'm here there is no jewelry box to be looted don't know why that is i'm gonna reload my game one more time and i'm gonna see maybe if we can move the blocks somehow we can get the jewelry to spawn and also I'm thinking maybe we throw the lady in this tub just for the hell of it. We're back in it again, and I got my lasso ready. First thing we do, run in. Hello. Tackle her. Lasso her on up. Big dude's upstairs. Oh, my God. He's fast. Please don't shoot your wife. I really want him to lose his head real quick. This should do the trick. I'm back. Hello. What? You can't even blow his limbs off? The skin is too thick. You cannot penetrate him. It's too thick, dudes. That's crazy. By the way, you also cannot pick him up. I think he's one of the few NPCs in game that you cannot pick up. He's just too heavy. But we're back up here. Now, if you use your eagle eye on this board, there won't be anything there. But somehow there is a way that we can get this board to have jewelry underneath it. Now, I had jewelry the earlier appear and spawn at this location. And ever since then, I haven't had any jewelry. I don't know if like, maybe one thing I did differently though, is I did shoot this wall first. And then I also shot, did I shoot this wall? Oh, it was down here, I think too, here. How did I get jewelry to spawn the first time, but I can't get jewelry to spawn any other time? That is so weird. And what's also weird about this is the way that these things blink. Why do they do that? There's got to be a meaning, some kind of code. People have said that this is a pattern, but when you compare it to anything else that is lootable, they all do this. 
So I don't think like, I don't know. I want you guys at home to try this. I want you guys to come to Aberdeen Pig Farm. If you guys have no idea where it's at, it's over here, right next to Blue Water Marsh, underneath New Hanover. Come to this spot, and I want you to try to see if there's a jewelry box underneath this thing for you. When I first got here, there was a jewelry box. Did I loot it? No, I don't think I did. That I that I could pick up as like pick up jewelry you guys come here test it out that's a cool little secret so big thanks to all of you guys that showcased this to me appreciate all the love and support you guys have been phenomenal with it and uh i guess in honor of this lady let's take her outside eh, you know what goodbye you can't blow her head off either that's crazy. There's like real sad music playing in Red Dead right now. And I don't know why. So to wrap this video up, if you guys have enjoyed it, make sure you guys drop a like. If you're new around right here, hit that subscribe button. Big thanks to all you guys that show the continuous support across all my videos. This, I swear, every time I come here, I get more and more weirded out by these weird people. But you know what's even weirder about these weird people? Is there's actually people like this in real life. And I said this, I believe, in the first time I ever came here. But imagine if Red Dead Redemption 2 was based off a true story. People like the Aberdeen family actually exist. What if I shoot the S? Yes. And then the L. S. L. Would have been pretty cool if something happened there. Nothing happened though. What a weird, what a weird, weird family. Weird, weird family, dudes. See you later, losers. I'm out of here.